Hey guys, Horror Man, back for another review. So today we're actually going to take a look at two brand new figures from NECA Toys. Uh, we have the Trick or Treat Retro version of Sam, and then we have the Ultimate uh, version of Sam from Trick or Treat. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look at the Retro version, uh, but for the most of the review, we're going to go over the Ultimate figure. Uh, so just taking a look at the packaging for the Retro version, uh, you can see it does come in that, uh, you know, plastic, like, blister card. Uh, you get the uh, trick-or-treat, kind of like the movie uh, poster, uh, you know, Sam right there. Uh, you have Sam clearly displayed with his accessories. Uh, and this is a resealable card. And then on the back of the packaging, you just see some pictures of Sam. You got a big picture of the figure here. Uh, and then there's a little bit of a read-up of Trick or Treat for those who haven't watched it yet. You got the UPC code, uh, and then some different uh, credits for NECA, Legendary, and just basically the people responsible for the figure itself. And then looking at the packaging for the Ultimate version, it comes in this really cool uh, foil box, but you really can't, it doesn't show up under these lights very well, but you can kind of see how the light reflects off of it, and you have different pictures uh, from the movie itself, of some of the different characters besides Sam, which is really cool. Uh, but you do have a picture of Sam here, it says Trick or Treat, um, and then if you flip over to the back, again, it's a little hard to capture on camera, um, but it does give you a read-up uh, from Trick or Treat, and then you have pictures of the figure itself uh, on the back. You do get just a trick or treat with the Sam and NECA logo. Uh, and then again, same thing on the other side. Um, you got Sam, trick or treat, and NECA. If you come around to the front, you can open the box, and the figure is clearly displayed on the inside with tons of accessories uh, and the, you know, Velcro clasp here. And then you do get another cool picture of Sam, the figure. And again, it's, it's really hard to show up under this light, but it does look cool uh, in person. So let's go ahead and get these out of the box and get a closer look. All right, now if you're like me and you like to save the packaging, you might even put them back in the packaging sometimes, um, you wanna try to keep this card intact as best as you can. Um, the best way to do that, well, there's actually two ways to do it. For one, you can cut along the lines. I don't recommend that. What I do recommend is you can pop these different little button pieces or like these little, um, I don't know what you want to call them, these little plastic rectangles. If you just go around and pop these carefully, you'll be able to just kind of open it up and reseal it just like that. I would not recommend cutting it because you won't be able to hang it. Now, unfortunately, when you do pop these little pieces, you might get a couple cracks here and there, but it's better than completely destroying uh, the box. All right, and here's the Retro Sam outside of the packaging with the accessories. Now, you're not going to get a lot of accessories here. You're mainly going to get the lollipop, like the uh, basically his primary weapon. He just bites the lollipop and uses that to uh, attack his enemies. And I think it's done pretty good. Uh, it is detailed on both sides. So you do get like the little bite and you have part of the mouth and the eye on there. So that's his main accessory. You also get this um, candy sack or whatever. And then his mask is also an accessory. And just taking a closer look at that sack mask. It does look really good on here. Um, I like the X'd out button eyes and then you do get the stitching going down the middle of it and you got the course the uh, big smile going all the way across on both sides I think they've done a really good job with that and then the front part kind of hangs down a little bit and then it hangs out a little bit in the back as well um, now you can remove the mask which is really cool um, one thing I really love about the mask is they've actually put some stuffing in here so it is pretty soft all right now in order to get the mask off of the retro Sam you just want to go ahead and untie the little string um, that's underneath the mask. You don't want to just like rip this thing off because there is stuffing uh, in there. So you just want to kind of lift it and it should just pull off pretty simple. Um, and then there is your unmasked Sam. And man, I tell you, NECA has knocked it out of the park with this head sculpt. 
You can see he's got that pumpkin face, which is definitely what he looks like in the movie. Uh, he kind of looks like a baby from uh, Pumpkinhead. Uh, so you got like the little lines and stuff that kind of represent a pumpkin. You got that classic jack-o'-lantern face with the two triangular eyes, a triangle nose, and that little mouth. Um, now what's cool is you can kind of see he has regular eyes inside of those triangles. And if you look at the nose closely, it resembles a skull. Um, now what's really neat about this too is that the mouth is on a hinge. So he can open his mouth. You can see the little teeth inside of there. Uh, just really, really nice details. Uh, you can see kind of like the underneath part of the mouth. So just really just great details. And just looking at the side of the head again, you know, you can really see the uh, resemblance to a pumpkin. You got those uh, big lumps and like line detail going all through. And that's all sculpted. That's not just like paint work. So just really, really cool. I love the the jaw, it definitely, I think the jaw really makes it, and you can see a little bit of like pumpkin guts kind of coming out the uh, the mouth a little bit here on the jaw. So just really, really nice details uh, overall for Sam. And just looking at the outfit on here, this really is another thing that really makes this figure, in my opinion. Um, just the the way they've handled this fabric outfit just fits so good with this figure. Uh, you can see the little patchwork on the front here um, and then you can see how like the figures kind of like got that dirty look it's not like a fresh clean uh, onesie so I like that they kind of add some age to it and if you look at these shoes they really do blend uh, really well with the pants even though those are plastic and the pants are fabric it just really flows uh, nicely and then over to the back of them, you do get the little Velcro piece here. If you, for some reason you wanted to remove the outfit, uh, you do get that little like butt uh, opening right there like you would have in the onesie. And again, just the detail overall is just really, really well done. And the overall details on the hands, the lollipop, just all the plastic parts of this are really, really well done. Uh, you can actually get his mouth to go over the lollipop like he's biting it, so that's pretty cool. The range of motion is nice in this body. I love the uh, like the fingers, again, have that pumpkin uh, color to them, so everything's kind of got that orange uh, color scheme. So overall, just really nice uh, details all around on this figure. Alright, so before we move on to the Ultimate, one more thing I want to say about this is I think regardless if you are a fan of Ultimates, only uh, this is the one retro where you think you're going to change your mind because this figure blends the fabric and plastic so well that it is definitely one of the best Sam figures ever made. I mean the details are fantastic. The color blended between the pants and the shoes is just as good as the Ninja Turtles where they did the fabric bandanas on the quarter scale. I mean NECA really got it right uh, with the colors. So. Like I said, even if you're not a fan of retro, this is definitely one where I think you should make an exception, especially if you're a trick-or-treat fan or just a fan of Sam. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the ultimate figure, and we'll take a look at that head sculpt. All right, now taking a look at the ultimate Sam, this guy is so small. Um, I love it, though. Uh, just looking at the head sculpt here, much different head sculpt than what we've seen before. Uh, you do get a lot of different details going on here. Again, you get that very defined stitching going right through the middle. Then, of course, you have this stitched up mouth, and you do get the x uh, you know, X'd out button eyes, which is really cool. The mouth, of course, does go fairly far up on the side, not quite so high as the retro version. Uh, and then over to the back, again, really good details. That one defined line goes all the way through. You can see the rope. Uh, where it's kind of tying the mask nice and tight. Uh, so really, really nice. And it does hang down fairly far in the front. And you can see that you can kind of move it uh, just a little bit. So really good details uh, in that first head sculpt. But you do get several uh, different head sculpts. All right, so taking a look at the other head sculpts, you do get a total of four head sculpts uh, with this figure. Of course, we already looked at the regular uh, mast head, um, but you get a second mast head which is actually like a battle damage version and if you've seen the movie, I don't want to spoil too much, but the mast does get torn 
uh, in that final uh, episode. And this is basically what he looked like when he puts the mask back on. It has that big tear where the mouth is. Now you can see the mouth uh, through here, which is pretty cool, but the, the actual mouth, like the jaw, is not hinged on this head sculpt, which is kind of a letdown just because you can't put the lollipop inside of the mouth. Um, so that kind of sucks. I kind of wish they sculpted it with the mouth open, but ne you know, needless to say, it's still a really cool uh, sculpt. Now the second head sculpt is going to be the battle damage one where he kind of takes a shot to the face and you can see the pumpkin guts, the jaw uh, articulation, which is really cool. So that's your battle damage version. And then you have the standard uh, unmasked version, which also has the jaw uh, that can open. So really cool uh, you know, pieces. It's nice that you get so many different interchangeable heads. You know, you never know when we'll actually get another Sam figure. So having all these choices really does make it the ultimate Sam figure. Alright, now interchanging the heads on this Sam is actually pretty easy. Just gonna get a nice uh, grip on the top of that head there. And you do have a separate uh, neck peg. Uh, then you also have the ball peg for the head, which is pretty cool. And if you look, you can see that the color uh, on the top of that peg kind of blends a little bit better with that unmasked head. Uh, so if you just want to put on the unmasked head here, uh, just snap that on. It doesn't really make a loud sound or anything. It just snaps in pretty easy. Uh, and there is your unmasked Sam head. And just like I showed you, it does have that hinge jaw. So if you want a couple different expressions for old Sam here, you could do plenty of expression with that jaw and that articulation. Alright, just taking a look at the uh, body for Sam here, mainly the outfit. Um, you do get those cool little patches like you see uh, with all the Sam figures. Um, he's got really nice wrinkling going all throughout the shirt and in the pants. Really, really nice details all the way down. Uh, you can see some nice detail in that little collar uh, just right here, some little line work. And then just flipping over to the back of Sam. Again, really nice details. Got all those wrinkles and the seams. You can kind of see that little butt pocket with the two little buttons on here. Really, really nice uh, sculpting work all around for Sam. And they even added a little string here on the back where the outfit would actually tie up. Um, and one more thing I just wanted to show you before I forget is, again, since they colored the top of that neck portion uh, a little bit different, it blends really well with that unmasked head. So that's a really nice uh, attention to detail that the neck has done. Alright, so going over the articulation, starting with the head sculpt here, uh, he can look down pretty far, which is pretty good there. Uh, he can look up a little bit. The back of the mask kind of restricts him. Um, you can get a little bit of range as far as tilting with the mask, which isn't too bad. You can definitely turn his head uh, pretty good, which is nice. But when you put the unmasked head on, you have like a crazy amount of range. So he can move all around. So he can look up really far. Um, he can look down really far. You can angle the head as much as you want. There's really no uh, nothing you can't do. And again, you have that jaw articulation, so huge plus uh, with the unmasked head sculpts. Um, now as far as the arms, he can go out that far. Uh, he can go up a little bit. The wrinkles kind of get him from going straight up and down. Um, you only have the single uh, joint at the elbows, which is kind of something we're used to at NECA. The hands move pretty good. Uh, if you want to get some cool hand poses, and they do uh, rotate as well. Uh, now, since he has this like onesie thing on, there's really not much. There's really nothing in the uh, the torso here for his uh, like a twist or anything like that. Uh, he has kind of short legs, but you could still go out pretty far if you want a little kick. Um, he can go out about that far. You got the single jointed knee. And then the feet can go up and down. And you really do, you have a little bit of a pivot, nothing extreme. All right, so the first accessory you get with Sam here is his lollipop or his like primary weapon. And it's got that orange and black motif going on. You got a little bit of like a 
wrapped stripe going around the handle and you can see partially uh, the eye and the mouth. Uh, he bit off the rest. So pretty cool and he holds that pretty good in the right hand. And that right hand is actually one of his second accessories. You do get two hands with Sam, but the one he comes with in the box has a much bigger opening, not necessarily for holding that lollipop. And that second hand is actually much better for holding that candy bar, which has the razor blade in it. Uh, so you can see it's kind of got like the wrapper still hanging on there. You got, you can see the chocolate and you got that razor blade kind of sticking outside of the candy bar. So pretty crazy. Sam also comes with his sack bag, which probably has something extremely gruesome in it. Uh, and that more open right hand that is already on him in the box seems to hold that one pretty well. You're definitely not going to want to use that really tight gritting, uh, gripping hand for that bag because it will stretch way too far. Um, but it, yeah, it does hold it pretty well. All right, and the final accessories that come with the Ultimate Sam here, uh, you do get his crazy battle damage hand, which isn't really something that uh, he can actually like plug into his body, uh, but it is really cool. You can see the pumpkin strings kind of coming off of it. Um, I don't want to give away too much about the movie, just go see it, but this is a cool accessory. Uh, then you also get the regular pumpkin, which comes uh, with the original as well. Um, and you can see really nice details all around. It's got that creepy pumpkin face. And then finally, you also get the X'd out, uh, you know, kind of more like Sam pumpkin, and it has the uh, clear flame going through it. Um, now, I said that they did come with the original. This is the one that came with the original. I kind of like the paint a little bit better on the original one. And then they also released this one with the original as well. Again, a little bit more like orange uh, paint on it. Uh, but the benefit to this one is they actually put a light inside. It shows up really nice. That I like that clear flame. All right, so for the first comparison, here is all the NECA Sams. So on the far left, you have the Ultimate Sam. In the middle, you have the very first Cult Classic Sam. And on the right, you have the Retro Sam. And what I love about these is they're all completely different. Um, it's three different scales, and they really all have something unique to offer. So regardless which one you decide to get, I think you'd be happy really with any of them. All right, so for your retro comparison, here he is next to the Jason Voorhees, the young Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, and the good guy Chucky doll. And you can see the good guy, Chucky, and Sam are in pretty good scale. Jason might be a little small, uh, but overall they still look really cool next to each other. And just switching up the young Jason for the adult Jason, you can see the adult Jason is far bigger than Chucky and Sam. So it's not perfect scale, but I do think they still look really cool next to each other. All right, and here is the ultimate Sam with the Curse of Chucky. Uh, or Ultimate Chucky and the Bride of Chucky Tiffany and I do think they scale pretty well together and here he is next to some of his fellow horror ultimates you have the Halloween 2 Michael Myers which is slightly customized uh, you have the Jason from the New Beginning he's like the dream sequence and then you have the Ultimate uh, Pennywise which is the uh, wellhouse Pennywise and you can see that Sam is much much smaller than these guys and for the final comparison here he is with Freddy Krueger from Dream Warriors alright so that's my review of the retro Sam and ultimate Sam made by NECA toys so like I said regardless which line you like to collect NECA has definitely nailed both of these and personally I think they're both worth a pickup that's why I bought them both um, they both have a couple little issues, nothing big, um, but I would say that the hands tend to pop out, especially that left hand on the retro one, a little too easy, but it's not like a deal breaker or anything. It's just worth noting. Um, I do wish the sack had some stuffing in it because it kind of looks a little empty, uh, but you probably could put some stuff in it, but having some extra stuffing pre-packed in there would have been nice. Um, and I do think the eyes might be just a little high up uh, on the sack mask, but that's going to vary between 
the ones that you actually buy. But overall, I really do love the way that retro one looks. The Ultimate is almost perfect. I really don't have any issues with this guy. Um, the only thing I would say is that I wish you can get more movement out of the mast head sculpt. You really can't get that uh, same pose that you can get uh, with this retro. And you could really move the head on this because it's a fabric mask. So that's the only real issue I had with the Ultimate. But overall, they're really, really great figures. Great price point. You're looking at 30 and maybe, uh, actually like 32 and maybe like 27, uh, depending on where you get them from. But overall, just really happy with both of these. So thanks for watching my review. Please subscribe, please like the video, leave a comment or question if you have one. I'll have some cool pictures at the end of this video. And uh, until next time, guys, see ya. <laughs>